Hi y'all, welcome back to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. And today we're I'm Miss Stacy had given me a tray. A little blue tray. And I've been thinking about what I can do with that tray. Right now I'm trying to get my I should have probably sprayed it with some alcohol first. Because I think I might have been able to get the stencil to stay stuck but I did not I just laid it in there and so far it's stuck except for little bits so this is what we're gonna do there's a tray this is a plastic stencil that I got from Timu um, it, this one fit in there perfectly it's on my heat mat which I taped to my leveling board because I was tired of it poking up hopefully I can keep this level and it won't be all out okay my plan is to use some intense chameleon powders from less resin to color it I may even use some metallic gold powder on where it says dragons I'm gonna and I've got let's resin chameleon powder over there in case I want it I'm not gonna use a brush I know these come with brushes and that's fine but I decided to use my uh, makeup brushes these little things to color it in with. I thought it might be an easier way to do it. What the heck is that? Going now. Okay. I don't know what colors I want him to be. Maybe I want him multicolored. I'm gonna see because I'm gonna pour a black background. So there's blue. says galaxy fairy green dark green and dark magenta I may just use those colors I don't know but I'm going to start with the blue And I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to see. Try and clean the jar off a little bit here. It seems to be everywhere. Okay. Hold it down. And then just going to rub it in. Hopefully I won't get it too badly. I might. It's going to go where it's going to go. I mean, I don't want it to go underneath. Because otherwise, whoa, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Cheap things. All right, let's hold this one down. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it down while I'm... Because the rest of it's stuck pretty good, but the little bitty cutout pieces are the parts that aren't stuck very well. And I don't know how well this is going to work with um, black mica powder, but that's the color you're supposed to use. So we're going to see how well it shows up when I pour the back black. Might have been easier to use the brush. I was hoping this would work better. We'll see how it works. Just need to hold these thinner pieces down so they don't move. 
wish I could have figured out a way to keep them down better, but I don't think that's going to work. Alright. <sighs> okay, so let's do maybe just his head in this part right here. I mean, I figure when I pull the stencil off, I can do a little cleaning with an alcohol wipe or one of these things with some alcohol on it. I'll be able to clean a little bit of it off. so I can get to it. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Well, it is actually my favorite color. I do like purple too, but it's not my favorite. It's Miss Jeannie's favorite color, so that's why I do a lot of purple and blue. Because it's both our colors. I want to make sure I get this rubbed in pretty good. And I didn't put my gloves on yet because I figured it might be a little hard to do with my gloves on. I did see somebody, I did see a couple of other people do this. Miss Wanda for one, Wanda's Bless Creations. She did a stencil. And I have seen um, Wendy with Toonfish do a stencil like this. So... I just thought I'd like to give it a try. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to see. We'll see together. And you'll know what to do, what, what you can do, and what you can't do. I really didn't want to do his teeth in blue. I was kind of thinking about maybe doing that in gold. do the blue and don't don't put the blue in his teeth that way I can do them in gold I thought if I was careful maybe I wouldn't have to hold those pieces down but we'll see I mean maybe it'll work and maybe it won't
do one more piece in blue and then we'll switch colors here. get a piece of tape to take this excess off and see if that will work better than me blowing it and scattering it everywhere. Okay, so let's lay the blue one aside. Let me get a piece of tape. Use a piece of painter's tape. Sticky, but not too sticky. messes it up, but we can fix it. Alright, we're done with the blue. Set the blue aside. Get a big old. Okay, and what do I got here? I got some fairy green. And I got some dark green. And let's just do some little fairy green I haven't even opened yet. So let's do dark. I know I've opened. It actually looks like purple, not green. But hey. It says fairy green on it. That's the funniest looking fairy green I ever seen. Looks purple to me. Yep, looks purple. And it says very green on it though. We may have to open the light green. I swear to God that looks purple to me. People who seem to like long videos I uh, would imagine this one's gonna be longer than my last video anyway because I'm taking you on the my journey here with coloring so I would imagine it's gonna be longer all right we're gonna either have to open that one very green or I know I have a green in this one. It's gold. A green that's already deep blue. I might use maple. I don't know. Here's the green I got. So one that said dark green, let's move it out of the way. Very green I haven't opened. I don't know if I use galaxy, magenta, maple. Okay, this is just green.
I'd like for y'all to say some prayer for a couple of people. Um, Miss Wanda's daughter, who's going in for surgery tomorrow. We need to say some prayers for her. Um, Miss Olga, um, I got an email from her. She wasn't at Friday's Live because she's in the hospital. And if you remember, Miss Olga is the one with cancer. Um, she had a fever and a few other things, quite a bit of pain. So um, she went in on Thursday. And when she emailed me on Tuesday, she was still there. So we'll say some prayers for her and hope that the, she gets well enough because she just wants to go home. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be stuck in the hospital either. So we'll say some prayers that she gets well enough that she can go back home. And pray that Miss Wanda's daughter surgery goes great. And she gets out as soon as she can. Gets well. Um, I know that the hysterectomies now aren't as aren't as bad as they were when I had mine. Well, mine was done pretty the new way also, I think. There was no really big incisions. So, I healed up a lot quicker after I had mine done. All right. That's all the I think that's all the green I want to do. Let's do some. Let's do a different color. I'm going to leave these up there so I can be able to use any color that's left on them. Alright, let's, um, hmm. I have maple, dark magenta, and galaxy. Let's do some maple here. Okay. So many of those dragons stencils that I got from Timu, I had a hard time picking one. 
Um, a few of them I really, really liked. They were too big, wouldn't fit. So I had a hard time picking. But, you know, I love my dragons. maple and the lamb's dark magenta hmm okay what did I do here did I use maple nope there's maple maple I'm going to use on the next one on the last one here trying to make me like a multicolored dragon here I'm sorry if that heater's loud. It was it was kind of chilly down here, and I'm trying to heat the room up some, so my epoxy won't be so cold. I mean, it could end up being pretty cold, but I need to get me a I need to get me a temperature gauge for down here just to put down here so I know what temperature it is. That's been running for a while. I might have to get up and shut the door because with the door open, it's not really taking the chill off the room. And Miss Pebbles don't like it chilly down here either. Although she's not under her blankets like she normally is. She's normally over there rucking up everything so she can get underneath them blankets. And she's just laying on top of them now. So we got the dragon colored. I'm kind of thinking I want to do his teeth in the metallic gold. Maple goes back in that one. Did I put something wrong back in one of those? I think I might have. The, yeah, the green goes back in there. Okay. Um. I wish you guys could talk to me so you could tell me what color you think. Antique gold. Bronze. Silver. Rustic gold. Or copper. I think I'm going to do copper this time. I've used the gold several times. The, uh, the antique gold. This time I think I want to use copper. Alright, so let's get a... I'm not even sure I've opened it or used it at all. Nope.
right, we're going to try that. All right, we're going to do dragons in a minute. Actually, I would, I'd like to do maybe a striped. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if copper's going to work very good on his teeth, though. I think I need, I want the gold for his teeth. I do. I don't think I want to use copper. Let's use the antique gold on his teeth. Okay, as long as you don't flip it. If you flip it, then it flips the color everywhere. These two are probably going to turn out blue. Because I did color it in with blue. Oh well. All right, there's his teeth. Um, now let's do dragons in copper. Just made a mess of that. Made a big mess of that one. Made a big mess. My tummy growling. I ate something. I don't know why it would be growling. Not that I really wanted to eat, but I did. I did eat something. As in, I wonder if any of you have watched a video where you, it's like a UV resin and they use um, wire and make flower petals and then dip it in the resin and let it cure under the light and then put it together and make flowers. I had that. I want to try it and I was thinking about saving it for Saturday Live. I just have to, 
I want to practice a little bit so I know what I'm doing. So I got to get it out and try it. Just practice with it. I think the hardest part is going to be finding something to bend the wire around to make the flower petals. I, I think that my husband has something over there on in his leather working stuff. He's got some tools over there that would probably work. He's got like a lady's mandrel over there which I think would bend it quite nicely. I have a I have a board for wire, making wire jewelry. I just never, I got it. I don't remember where I got it. It might have been from David's mom's craft stuff. Because I ended up with a lot of that. So it might have been from her stuff. And I have not used it yet. I just don't know if I could bend a flower petal. Guess we'll find out. I have to get up and shut that door because that heater ain't doing nothing really with the door open to the other half of the basement it's not really warming anything up in here and still feel a draft all right let me shut that door real quick That ought, to, that ought to help. Wow. That's kind of cool looking. I hope, man, I hope that works. <laughs> I really hope it works. Because that looks cool. So I'm hoping it works. Alright. We're going to do it this way first. Now I gotta peel the stencil up. Let's let's hope I can do this without too much mess. It's pretty stuck. Come on, 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 come on. I don't want to lay that on top of my other one, so I'm going to have to lay it somewhere because I'm going to have to wipe it off. Ooh, yeah, that, that gold kind of, I don't know, that gold kind of, yeah, I don't know that I could get a clean one between there and clean it off, really. I mean, I would like to, because I want my lines to show, but I don't know if this is going to work. I'm afraid to put too much alcohol on it, because I'm afraid I'd make a mess. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I need me some of those pointed Q-tips. I haven't been able to get anything on Amazon lately. Because someone uh, tried to 
use my card and uh, I got a fraud alert I told them that it wasn't me using the card so now I'm still waiting on a new card yeah I have to wait for a new card now yeah so I'll probably have to rejoin Miss Wanda's membership and she's aware of it because I I sent her a message to let her know what happened so she won't do a live probably on Thursday anyway so by the time she gets ready to do her next live hopefully I'll I'll have it taken care of Wish I had steadier hands. I like this. I like the way it turned out so far. We'll see. I'm a little scared about the. I'm a little scared about using the black. Yes, we'll see. It's gonna bleed through a little bit. It is what it is. I'm kind of scared about using black. I'm just hoping that those will show up with the black background, but we're about to find out because that's what I'm for. I don't. I should have filled the tray first to see how much it was going to take. Oh, I see. I got some. Paper towel. I got some that I spilt up there. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that everywhere. Alright, we're gonna, I'm gonna pause you and I'm gonna mix up, I don't even, darn it, darn it, let's mix these two up, darn it, oh, I don't know what I am fixing either. Okay. All right. I just don't want those colors all around. All right. 
let's get it back on there right get all these out of the way all right I'm gonna pod you while I mix up some black I'll be back all right we're back I got my epoxy mixed up I'm gonna put some black in it and I always overdo the black but that's okay I'll get more <laughs> if I need it I'll get more okay um, first take Get this in the epoxy. I don't know how much it's going to take. I should have grabbed me another mold. Because I do. I did mix up at least 16 ounces. I'm not sure it's going to take that much. So I'm going to have to get me another mold just in case. case I need it. I took my took my other stuff away. I was getting burnt out on making skulls. <laughs> Although I do have my little dragon over dragon head over here I could pour it. I also have Move this one out of the way. I also have, um, where did I put it? Here's my little dragon skull. My little dragon skull. I got that for a gift. That was a, in a blessing. Um, I do have a dragon's eye. somewhere. I'm not real sure where I put it. If I need more, I'll have to go find them. All right. I don't really like pouring out of this big jug. This big mama. I need a something to lay my stick on here. I got more crosses over there, but I don't know that I want to pour any more of them in. Uh, I don't know that I want to pour any more of them in black. I did black last time. start out with eight ounces. That's how much is in the cup here. Eight ounces. I don't know that it'll take that and it may take more. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't start overflowing. <laughs> yeah, I just thought about that as I poured that whole cup in there. Alright, stop. Stop with the drip. Let's, uh... Let me 
just it's still pretty thick. I don't know. Just trying to get it in the corner without having to use the stick to push it in there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be level, that's for sure. Can't be if it's gonna all run to one side. And that's what it seems to be doing here. gonna stick a stick under there just a little bit and one under here just a little bit just to keep it from overflowing I don't usually like to pull out of this big thing but I need to get it forward So I can get the heat mat on it. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. I just want to just kind of into the corner just a little bit. Just like I got back here. Maybe take it out just a little bit. I just don't want that. No, please. Cow. You act like you're. Trying to make it level. That's what I'm trying to do. Without overflowing it. That end really looks like there's not. Not enough there. I don't know why. really know. I just kind of want the line set. That's what the deal is. It sticks warped. Um, see if I can find a better stick. I really don't want one that's warped because it's not really going to help. I can't tell. I need to get my heat gun out and plug it up so I can um, see now it looks like this end. I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing. Sometimes I just, I don't know. moving my mat and I don't want to move my mat but I'd like to move it down that way a little bit that's where the air bubble is on that corner 
but I don't want you overflowing here. I don't know, because that end doesn't look the same. It does not. I don't know if it's just me or what. Because it doesn't. It does not look like it is the same. does not look that way. This end looks like it's low. It's your brother. From what I can see, it looks low. Alright, that's about all I can get out of that one. Let me get this little one hanging down. plug up my heat gun here and try and pop any little air bubbles I got. Hopefully it won't blow up. <laughs> got a lot of stuff going on down here.
I really, <laughs> I really hate to say it, but it is all coming this way. It's all moving this way. And I don't, I don't quite get it. See, doesn't seem to be too much on that end. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it, guys. I'm gonna roll with it and see what happens. Get try and get this in the middle of my heat mat. And yeah, I, man, I I really thought I popped all the bubbles there with the heat tool. But I still see some towards the edge. Okay, so let's get my let's get my heat mat plugged up. Get it turned on and set for two hours. Get the cover over it. Hopefully it'll fit. You never know. Um, most of the time it does. That's the one thing I like about this cover. Now the sticks might stop it. But for the most part, it will, it will cover it. All right. I will see you guys in a few hours. Bye for now. All right, I'm back. I came back down here last night with every intention of finishing the video. And let me get you down and show you <laughs> what happened. It was kind of strange. I've never seen, I've never seen resin pull away from a corner like that. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen that. So I have some little dips on the back of it. I know, I don't really know and it could be warped. I don't know. Um, maybe it was too thin of a mold. I mean, I know I put thinner molds on this heat mat and set it for two hours and never had a problem with it. But when I got down here last night to undo it, this whole corner had no resin in it. It I guess it had all pulled to the center in that corner. All you could see was the silicone. That one wasn't that full either. So I mixed up some more and I poured that, re poured that corner, not knowing whether it would stay. Now that's why I had these little, hard to see. See the little divots? All right. I covered those up last night too and the resin pulled away. That's the back. I'm only, you know, it. the whole thing could be warped for all I know. So let's take it out of the mold and let's see what happened. I mean, I, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to worry about it. It is what it is. Oh, other side's cool, though. <laughs> I, I almost don't care that I had to keep coming back down here and babysitting it. Because, look at that. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it turned out pretty good. And like I said, I'm not really worried about these spots in the back. 
because I'm just going to put a hanger on it. I'm going to put a hanger up here, and it's going to hang on the wall. So, that I don't, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I have never, I've never seen resin pull away from a corner. And it wasn't, it kind of got some, hope that wipes out, but it may not. It wasn't, um, it was just kind of strange. It was really strange. Like I said, I, I've never seen it. And it is, yeah, it is kind of warped on the front too. I may have to do a clear coat. I don't know. I'm just going to hang it on the wall. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to hang it on the wall and I don't think anybody's really going to. I like it. I like the way it turned out. Yeah. With those intense chameleon patterns from Let's Resin and the metallic. Yeah. I like it. And I may do another one. But right now I can look at the mold. I can see the mold. And I don't know if that will wipe out or not. I can still see where it says dragons on it. Can you? And I can actually still see. It's kind of hard with the light. But I can actually still see where the dragon is. So it depends on. Yeah, it depends on if it wipes out. Let's see here. Um, I need a soft cloth here. Oh, darn it. I need a soft cloth. Piece of t-shirt here. And some alcohol. We'll see, it may not clean out. May have just stuck to it. I mean, I didn't. It wasn't like I rubbed it in there that much. Because I, I really didn't. I was just, I mean, I was rubbing it, but I wasn't rubbing it with anything rough. Yeah, I can still see it, but you know, I still might do another dragon in there anyway. I still might do another dragon in it. I don't care. I mean, I had some others that I could do. All right. Well, I want to put this back in the bag because I'm going to need to try and keep it clean for the next one. I had like an elephant, a wolf. And a tiger, but they're they're too big for this, and I don't want to be cutting on them, so I don't know exactly yet what I'm gonna do those in. I don't know yet. I will figure out something, I guess. I'm just trying to put this back in the bag that it was in when Miss Stacy sent it to me. I can put it away or keep it clean anyway for the next time I want to use it. There we go. Alright. It's back in the bag. Um, I'll lay it over there for now. I need to do my shout outs. Oh, sorry, I got a little bit of runny nose. I got to bring me some um, Kleenexes down here. All right. Wanda's Blessed Creations. Happy birthday, Miss Wanda. I hope your daughter's doing good in surgery. Um, your birthday, your birthday package is going to be a little late. I still got some more stuff to put in it. Uh, Stacy underscore the crafty cat. Rez C. Liz. India Brady Art. Art by me, Andrew Walker. Billy Holman Creations. Cosmic Carol's Creations. 
Artsy Doodles, Creating with Wingless Angels, TLC's Handmade Hayloft, Roseanne's Crafting Corner, Coral Marine's Resin Art, Marvelous Artsy, Crafting with Carla, Cynthia's Crafts and More, Amy's Resin Corner, then I have My Love of Crafts, Dragons in Dresses Craft Satorium. I need to add those two to my big list. I actually need to get me one of those erasable boards to hang up. Well, guys, I mean, I really, I mean, it's a little warped. I don't care. I like it. I'm going to put a hanger on the back of it. I'm going to put a hanger on the back of it. And I'm going to hang it up. Thank you. Um, we'll see you in the next video. i got to go do some practicing for Saturday's Live. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do some flowers that you dip. I think I want to try that, but I want to do a little couple practice runs. And I may come back down later and do another, do something else, because I have plenty of molds that I need to use. I haven't done any uh, jars in a while, and I kind of want to do that, because Miss Pat sent me one. Uh, Miss Patricia sent me one, so I kind of want to do some jars, too. I got lots of them and they they're really good for storage and some of them are really decorative so they're good gifts to give away all right so see you on the next video bye for now